The hunt of 14-year-old Jahim Coleman, the BB Coke Eye student who was allegedly beaten and hospitalized for stepping on his schoolmate's clock shoes, says she is hurt by the security guard's alleged failure to report the incident to the school administration. Tamika Owens told Observer Online that after the incident, her nephew was reportedly rushed to see the doctor by his friends. It's very sad to see that you can send your kids to school and to get a phone call like that, she expressed. What hurts most is that the security guard at the gate didn't report it to the teachers or the principal. Preliminary reports are that shortly after the dismissal of classes, the two boys were among students collecting their phones when the older boy accused the younger boy of stepping on his clock shoes. The grade 11 student allegedly assaulted the grade 8 student by punching and beating him on his hands and face. A female security guard is in hospital with a gunshot wound to the head following another daring attack by a gunman on a cash courier van in New Forest, Manchester on Thursday. The incident reportedly happened sometime after 6 p.m. It is believed that the bullet grazed the head of the 57-year-old guard. The police said no cash was stolen and the gunmen made their escape. The latest incident follows the August 25 armed robbery of a beryllium courier team in Mandeville, Manchester. The incident left five people injured. A 40-year-old farmer has been charged for allegedly pulling a firearm and shooting a man in Dengal Vineyard, St. Elizabeth on September 23. Charged only with intent, possession of a prohibited weapon, and unauthorized possession of ammunition is Howard Gerald Williams, otherwise called Pim Pim of Mongo Walk, district, in the parish. Reports from the police are that a man was at his business establishment in the area when a blue motorcycle with two men aboard drove up. Williams, who was a pillion, disembarked with a firearm in his hand, and the man ran. He opened gunfire in the man's direction before he and his accomplice escaped from the area. After the shooting subsided, the man discovered that he had been shot and was taken to hospital where he was treated. He later reported the matter to the police, and an investigation was launched. Williams turned himself into the police on Tuesday, September 26, and was subsequently charged.